our get method is going to be very straightforward and pretty similar to our insert method, as you will see in a moment. We will be using our get method to retrieve information about a certain friend. So our get method will take in a key, in this case our friend's name, and it will return to us that person's email address if that person exists in our hash table. If they do not exist in our hash table, we will simply return null. And that's it. Let's code it out. We will say hash table dot prototype dot get equals a function. And this function will take in a key as a parameter. The first thing that we want to do is, again, hash our key into a number so we know what bucket to look in. And remember, for a given key, it will always hash into the same number every time that we hash it because the letters in that, in that key never change. So we will say variable index equals this dot hash and pass in our key. Now we know what bucket to look in. So we will say if our bucket is empty or if there is nothing present in our buckets at the correct index, then all we want to do is return null. Now we write our else block to deal with the case that our bucket is not empty. So if our bucket is not empty, we simply want to loop through the chain of nodes or the single node that is in this bucket and return the correct email address if our friend is in here. So we define our current node by saying variable current node equals this dot buckets at our index, the first node in our bucket. Now we will write our while loop. And we will continuously run this while loop while we have a current node. We're not concerned with having a next node on our current node in this method, unlike in our insert method up here, because we are not trying to insert a node into our list where current node.next equals null anymore. We are simply just going through the nodes that already exist in our list. Inside of our while loop, we will say, if the key on our current node equals the key that we have passed into our method, then that means we found the friend we are looking for, and we want to return the value of that current node, or current node.value, which will be our friend's email address. Then, below our if statement, but still in our while loop, we want to set current node equal to current node dot next, which will allow us to travel through every node in this bucket. Then, way down here at the bottom, if we go through the whole chain and have no match, we simply want to return null. And that's it. That's our get method. So we have our method, which takes in a key parameter. We then hash that key into an index, which will be the bucket we want to look in for our friend's information. If there is nothing in our hash table at that bucket, we simply return null. Otherwise, we travel through all the nodes that are in that bucket with our while loop. If our key parameter matches the key on any of the nodes that we loop through, then we know that we have found our friend, so we return that friend's email address, which would be the value on that node. And we would have successfully gotten the information that we are looking for. But if we go all the way through our chain without finding the correct node, we return null down here. And that is our get method. Let's make sure that it works in the next video.